spot first tonight at six. They don't have a home to go to, but the city says they can't stay here. We're talking about the 800 block of East Washington in Madison. Tonight, the mayor suggests provocative measures to tackle concerns over Madison's homeless. All as a group of homeless camping on East Wash are asked to leave the premises. Andy Choi continues our coverage with remarks from the mayor's office. Sarah, Mayor Soglin's idea stems from his estimation that 10 to 15 percent of the homeless have severe problems with substance abuse and mental health. And here are the mayor's thoughts on the solution. The, the solution is involuntary commitment. But involuntary commitment costs the county a thousand dollars a day. But homeless advocates say very few camped on East Wash are dealing with substance and mental health problems rather than involuntary commitment. Advocates say the city must focus on establishing more affordable housing. One of the major solutions has got to be more single room occupancy housing, cheap, affordable housing that people can actually live in that where, you know, you can have a job making $7.25 an hour, $7.75 an hour, and you can actually afford to live somewhere and still be able to afford a bus pass. And nobody will rent to us. There's no help in this city anywhere. I've looked everywhere. I've been online. I've done the telephone. I've done everything I can do or think of to help, you know, find me a place to live. And the money's not the problem and I can't find a place to live. Now advocates point to the city's 3% vacancy rate as a reason renters may not take a risk on individuals camped out on East Wash. Now originally the eviction notice asked the tent city on East Wash to come down no later than tomorrow at 3 p.m. Just this past hour, the city has extended that deadline. The homeless now have until this Sunday at 3 o'clock to vacate the premises. All right, Andy Choi reporting. Now, Andy, thank you. You're welcome.